Shanti. Today is Satgurvar, Thursday, the 15th of August 2024. Today also happens to be Independence Day. So, let us listen to the Sakar Murli from our beloved Bab Dada on this Independence Day Satgurvar. Essence, sweet children, the father has come to give you true freedom and to liberate you from the punishment of the demons of death and from your dependency on ravan so what is baba telling us on independence day he is giving us true freedom and liberating us from the punishment of the demons of death and from our dependency on ravan so he is making us independent of ravan on independence day let's hear the essence once again sweet children the father has come to give you true freedom and to liberate you from the punishment of the demons of death and from your dependency on ravan today's question what is the main difference between the explanation that the father gives and the explanations you children give so in answer baba says when the father explains he does so whilst saying sweet children through this the arrow of what the father says strikes the target when you children explain to each other you cannot say sweet children the father is the senior and this is why what he says makes an impact so the father is the senior and this is why what he says makes an impact he makes you children have realization children are you not ashamed that you have become impure now become pure om shanti the unlimited spiritual father sits here and explains to you unlimited spiritual children so who is explaining to us the unlimited spiritual father sits here and explains to you that is us unlimited spiritual children only the unlimited father and you unlimited children know this baba says no one else knows the unlimited father and they do not consider themselves to be the children of the unlimited father only those who are the mouth born creation of brahma know this and accept it so baba says only those who are the mouth born creation of brahma know this and accept it no one else would accept this brahma is definitely needed and he is also called adi dev so brahma is definitely needed and shiv baba says that he is also called adi dev the father enters him how does the father come and do he says you have to become pure the father's shrimates have the faith that you are souls so what is the father's shrimat father's shrimates have the faith that you are souls he has given you children the introduction of the soul each soul resides in the center of a forehead baba has explained that a soul is imperishable and that his throne is a perishable body so what has baba explained that a soul is imperishable and that his throne is a perishable body you know these things and that all of you souls are brothers children of the one father to say that god is omnipresent is a mistake you explain very well that there is the existence of the five vices in everyone and some think that what you say is right so baba says to about us children that you explain very well that there is the existence of the five vices in everyone and some think that what you say is right we are brothers and so we will surely receive the inheritance from the father however as soon as you leave here you go into the storms of maya hardly anyone survives this is the condition everywhere some understand a little of this well and make effort to understand a little more you can now explain to everyone if someone doesn't pay a lot of attention it would be said he is not an old devotee so baba says you can now explain this to everyone if someone doesn't pay a lot of attention it would be said that he is not an old devotee only those who are to understand these things will understand them if someone doesn't understand he is unable to explain to others it is number wise amongst you too a good person is sent to explain to a good person 
so that he can perhaps understand something because you know that important people don't understand these things that quickly. Yes, they do give their opinion and say that the way you explained was good, that you gave the father's full introduction, but that they don't have the time themselves. So, about what does Baba say about most people? That yes, they do give their opinion and say that the way that you explained was good and that you gave the father's full introduction, but that they don't have the time themselves. You tell them, remember the unlimited father so that your sins can be absolved. You now understand that the father is speaking directly to you souls. When you listen to him directly, the arrow strikes the target very well. There, meaning at a center, you listen through a BK. Here, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, says directly through Brahma. So, what is Baba telling us? There, meaning at a center, you listen through a BK. Whereas here, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, says directly through Brahma. O children, you children are not obeying the Father. None of you can say this to anyone. There is not the Father there for he is sitting here. The father is speaking to you. Children, will you not even listen to the father? On the path of ignorance too, there is a difference between explanations given by a father and those given by a brother. So, Baba is giving us the example of a lochic life, whereas he says on the path of ignorance too, there is a difference between the explanations given by a father and those given by a brother. What a brother says would not have as much effect as that which a father says, because a father is still senior, so there is fear of him. The father says to you too, remember me, your father, are you not ashamed that you repeatedly forgetting me? So Baba asks all of us, are you not ashamed that you repeatedly forget me? The father tells you directly, and so that affects you quickly. So the father is telling us directly through the murli and so that affects you quickly. Oh, will you not listen to the father? The unlimited father says, become viceless in this one birth and you will become viceless for 21 births and the masters of the pure world. Do you not believe this? Baba says the arrow of what the father says seems stronger. There is definitely a difference. It isn't that Baba will always continue to meet new ones. Many ask all sorts of wrong questions. This doesn't sit in their intellects because it is something completely new. Baba says in the Gita they mention Sri Krishna's name, but that cannot be. Now, according to the drama, this sits in your intellects. You children come running to Baba. We want to go to Baba and listen to the Murli directly. There, meaning at the centers, we listen to it through the brothers and we now want to listen to it from Baba. When the father speaks, it has an impact. So, Baba says, when the father speaks it, it has an impact. He speaks to you whilst saying, children, 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 are you not ashamed that you do not remember the father? Do you not love the father? How much do you remember him? So children are saying, Baba, one hour. Oh, if you constantly remember me, your sins will be cut away. You have the burden of the sins of many births on your heads. The father is explaining to you face to face. You have defamed the father so much, there should be a case filed against you. So what is Baba telling us? You have defamed the father so much that there should be a case filed against you. Baba says, when someone libels another in the newspapers, a case is filed against him. So, libel means saying something bad about someone else or writing something bad about someone else. So, Baba says when someone libels another in the newspapers, a case is filed against him. The father now reminds you of the things that you used to do. The father explains, according to the drama, all of that happened in the company of Ravan. The path of devotion has now ended. It has become the past. So, 
Therefore, Baba says there is no one in the middle to stop you. Day by day, whilst coming down, your intellects have become like a Buddhus and Tamopradhan. So, Baba says day by day, whilst coming down, your intellects have become like a Buddhus and Tamopradhan. You say that the one you worship is in pebbles and stones. That is called unlimited senselessness. That is the unlimited senselessness of the unlimited children. Why? Because Baba says on the one side they worship Shiv Baba and on the other side they call the father omnipresent. You have now remembered, we behaved so senselessly that we defamed our father. You children have now understood and so you are now making effort to change from beggars to princess. So, we children have now understood and we are making an effort to change from beggars to princess. Sri Krishna was a prince of the golden age and yet people have said of him that he had 16,108 queens and also children. You would now feel ashamed. When a person commits a sin, he pulls his ears and says in front of God, O oh God, I made a mistake. Have mercy. Forgive me. I made such a big mistake. The father explains, it is like that in the drama. It is only when you become like that, that I can then come. The father now says, you have to benefit those of all religions. So what do we have to do? We have to benefit those of all religions and father only comes in the drama when we become like that. When we realize our mistake, catch hold of our ears and then beg for mercy. Baba says, those of all religions say of the Father who grants everyone salvation that He is omnipresent. Where did they learn this? God speaks, I am not omnipresent. Because of you, the condition of others has also become like yours. They call out, O purifier, but they do not understand. When we first came here from our home, were we impure? So Baba asks all of us, when we came here, when we first came here from our home, were we impure? We became impure because of having become body conscious. When someone of any religion comes, ask him, Do you have the introduction of the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul? Who is he? Where does he reside? He would either say that he is up above or that he is omnipresent. The father says, the whole world has now become totally bankrupt because of you. You became the instruments for that. This has to be explained to everyone. Although it happens according to the drama, you still became impure. All are sinful souls. You now call out in order to become pure souls. Those of all religions have to return to their home, the land of liberation. So, Baba says, those of all religions have to return to their home, the land of liberation. They are put there. It is also predestined in the drama for the Father to come and explain to you. This knowledge is for those of all religions. Baba received some news. An Acharya, that is teacher, said, I consider God to be in all of you and bow down to you. Are there that many gods? They don't understand anything. Those who have not performed a lot of devotion do not survive here. So, Baba says, those who have not performed a lot of devotion do not survive here. Some stay at a center for some time and others for another period of time. Baba says, you should understand from this that they have performed less devotion and that is why they don't stay longer. Nevertheless, where would they go? There is no other shop. What method should be created so that people can understand quickly? The message has to be given to everyone. So, Baba asks us the question, what method should be created so that people can understand quickly? And then Baba himself says, the message has to be given to everyone. You have to tell them, remember the father. If you cannot remember the father fully yourself, how would the arrows that you shoot strike the target? This is why Baba says, keep your chart. So what does Baba tell us? Keep your chart. The main thing is to become pure. The purer you become, the more of this knowledge you will imbibe and you will also have happiness. 
you children should have a lot of happiness in uplifting everyone the father alone comes and grants salvation so we children should have a lot of happiness in uplifting everyone the father alone comes and grants salvation there is no question of happiness or sorrow for the father this drama is predestined you should not have any sorrow you have found the father what more do you want you simply have to follow the father's directions only at this time do you receive this explanation you will not receive this in the golden age so what is baba clarifying you have found the father at this confluence age what more do you want you simply have to follow the father's instructions baba says only at this time do you receive this explanation you will not receive it in the golden age there there is no question of this knowledge you have found the unlimited father here and so you should have even greater happiness than that of heaven the father says you also have to go abroad and explain this you have to have mercy for those of all religions everyone says o oh god have mercy bless us liberate us from sorrow however they don't understand anything the father tells you many type of clever ways so people say bless us liberate us from sorrow however even after saying this they don't understand anything so the father tells you many types of clever ways you should tell everyone you are lying in the jail of ravan they say that they should have freedom but no one knows what freedom is they are all trapped in the jail of ravan the father has now come to give you true freedom even then people are trapped in the jail of ravan and continue to commit sin baba asks us what is true freedom you have to tell people this you can even print this in the newspapers there is no freedom here in the kingdom of ravan you should write it in short no one will be able to understand if you give long explanations baba says tell them you don't have freedom because you are lying in the jail of ravan so this murli is being held on independence day in which baba is telling us you don't have freedom because you are lying in the jail of ravan when your sound spreads abroad people here will quickly understand they are all continuously under siege so is that freedom the father is giving you freedom so baba is giving us freedom he is freeing you from the jail of ravan you know that you are very wealthy and have great freedom there no one's vision can fall on you at the end when you become weak everyone's vision fell on your wealth baba says mahmud ghaznavi came and looted your temple and your freedom was lost because you had become dependent in the kingdom of ravan you are now at the most auspicious confluence age you are now receiving true freedom those people don't understand what freedom is and so you have to explain this to them tactfully so baba is telling us to be yukti yukt those people don't understand what freedom is and so you have to explain this to them tactfully only those who attained freedom in the previous cycle will believe you baba says when you explain to them they argue so much as though they are buddhus they waste your time and so you don't want to speak to them the father comes and gives you freedom there is a lot of sorrow by depending on ravan there is limitless sorrow in the father's kingdom we are so free freedom is when we become pure deities when we become liberated from the kingdom of ravan the father alone comes and gives you true freedom now all are unhappy in this foreign kingdom so what is baba saying the father alone comes and gives you true freedom now all are unhappy in this foreign kingdom this is the most auspicious confluence age when you receive freedom those people say that we have become independent when the foreign government left so what did we say those people say that we became independent when the foreign government left you now know that you cannot be free until you become pure otherwise there will have to be punishment by the demons of death and your status will also be destroyed the father comes to take you back home 
there all are free meaning in satyug we are all free you can explain to those of all religions you are souls and have come from the land of liberation to play your parts you have come from the land of happiness to this land of sorrow this tamopradhan world the father says you are my child you are not ravan's child after giving you your fortune of the kingdom i departed you were so free in your own kingdom you now have to become pure once again in order to go back there you become so wealthy there there is no need to worry about money even though they may be poor they do not need to worry about money they remain happy meaning in the golden age it is here that they worry however status is number wise in the kingdom baba says not everyone will become like the sun dynasty kings however much effort you make you claim a status accordingly so baba has clarified that however much effort you make you claim a status accordingly we will claim the status according to our efforts you are those who serve those of all religions you also have to explain to people abroad all of you are brothers everyone resides in the land of peace you are now in the kingdom of ravan we are now going to show you the way home consider yourselves to be souls and remember me people do say god liberates everyone but they don't understand how he liberates everyone so people do say that god liberates everyone but they don't understand how he liberates everyone when some children become confused they say baba liberate us and take us back home it is just as when you were confused and lost in the fog in the jungle and you couldn't find the path you found the liberator who showed you the path you tell the unlimited father baba liberate us come and we will follow you no one except the father can show you the path we used to study so many scriptures and stumble along on pilgrimages however if we didn't know god how could we find him so baba says we used to study so many scriptures and stumble along on pilgrimages however we if we didn't know god how could we find him if he were omnipresent how could we find him there is so much darkness of ignorance only the one father is the bestower of salvation for all he alone comes and removes you children from the darkness of ignorance acha so what does baba do he alone comes and removes you children meaning us from the darkness of ignorance acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to you spiritual children and we the spiritual children say namaste to our spiritual father today's essence for dharna has two points the first point you have found the one father therefore do not worry about anything follow his directions have unlimited sense and become instruments to uplift everyone with happiness second point in order to be saved from the punishment of the demons of death and receive true independence you definitely have to become pure so on this independence day baba says in order to be saved from the punishment of the demons of death and receive true independence you definitely have to become pure this knowledge is your source of income so imbibe it and become wealthy today's blessing may you be a knowledgeable soul who transforms wrong into right with the light and might of this knowledge blessing once again may you be a knowledgeable soul who transforms wrong into right with the light and might of this knowledge baba explains it is said knowledge is light and might when they have light that is enlightenment as to this is wrong and this is right this is darkness and this is light this is wasteful and this is powerful then when they understand anything to be wrong they would not be inclined to perform wrong acts or have wrong thoughts knowledgeable souls means those who are sensible embodiments of this knowledge they can never say it should have been like this for they have the power to transform wrong into right 
Finally, the slogan for today, those who constantly have pure and positive thoughts for others and themselves become free from having any wasteful thoughts. Slogan once again, those who constantly have pure and positive thoughts for others and themselves become free from having any wasteful thoughts. Acha Om Shanti.